yes Kenya tamu sana tamu sana yes tamu sana yes about one hour ago Raila Odinga updated his Facebook account an update that I strongly believe is most likely going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion today and in case you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very very first time kindly subscribe and also give this video a like give it a like please thank you god bless you this is what Raila updated about one hour ago through his Facebook account the Ameru community occupy some of the most fertile and high yielding lands in the country given the tenacity and work ethic together we can transform livelihoods if we move forward together hashtag inawezekana i enjoyed meeting the political and business leadership ibwega i implore upon our meru fans in this youtube channel to kindly translate for us this word ibweta because i believe it sounds like a mere word something like that kindly translate it for us and then with that post raila also shared these photos you can see there kiraitu murungi you can see aaron ringera former anti corruption chief you can see an kananu nairobi governor maoka maore among a host of other leaders so if you look at also those people who attended through those posts those photos i mean the photos also speaks volume because the presence of kiraitu murungi alone there just signifies that maybe raila has identified kiraitu murungi as one person who can be very very instrumental in his campaign Eh, in Maryland and then also the presence of An Kananu that one also speaks volume Raila is maybe also very keen in using An Kananu to whip up the votes in the city that is Nairobi and then also the presence of Arun Ringera you know that's Arun Ringera hmm? former anti corruption chief you know one thing that i strongly believe is william ruto's weakness is this thing of corruption it's widely believed that william ruto's weakness is corruption a majority of kenyans maybe from rumors or allegation have got a strong feeling that william ruto most likely is the most corrupt leader in kenya today so with anti-corruption former anti-corruption chief Aaron Ringera there that also speaks volume that maybe Raila is just trying to pass a message that assuming is elected the president then there will be zero zero tolerance to corruption something that William Ruto hardly mentioned because William Ruto as of now seems to be Raila's main challenger maybe next year's election so the presence of Aaron Ringera also speaks volume Having said that ladies and gentlemen let me say that if you compare Raila's brand of politics and William Ruto's brand of politics these are their world apart Raila believes in using ethnic kingpins to reach the masses while William Ruto on his side he believes that he can reach the masses directly by coining a smart narrative or slogan of the hustlers yeah so these two campaign strategies are world apart and then also in terms of political experience then raila comes out as more politically experienced than ruto because raila has contested for presidency almost four times it won't let me say four times william ruto has never contested for the presidency so in terms of experience we can give raila the benefit of doubt simply because he's more politically is more experienced politically compared to william ruto having contested four, four times in an election 
some of which had strongly believed he won, then Raila may be having a lot of political experience compared to William Ruto. So if you look at Raila's brand of politics, meeting the ethnic kingpins, then the ethnic kingpins bargains on his behalf with the masses. Will it really yield some good results? Let me say it this way. In Kenya today, as I speak, our politics still revolves around ethnic personalities. It still revolves around ethnic personalities. And it will take long or some years for Kenyans to really depart from that brand of politics. It will take years or even not centuries. So I think with Raila's experience, he has already identified how Kenyan, the nature of our Kenyan politics. And that's why he's reaching out to the kingpins. Let me give you an example like now Kirai to Murongo. You know, if you want a good portion of the Ameru vote, ladies and gentlemen, then I strongly believe that there are two candidates as of now who can offer you that. If you have Kirai to Murongi, or Peter Munya, then you just have some good chunk of the Ameru vote. But as of now, as things stands, Peter Munya is obviously in the Raila camp. Kiraidu Murungi was still dilly darling, though he, had, he was also showing some signs of actually working with Raila Amolo Odinga. So, with this <laughs> meeting today that Kiraidu also attended, and he also gave a speech. I strongly believe that Kiraitu is very, very keen on working with Raila Amolo Odinga. And that's a big plus to Raila Amolo Odinga. It's a big plus because already we, Raila also has Peter Munya on his side. So having those two political giants from Maryland in your political camp, I think you've just locked some very good Meru votes in your basket. Let's have a look at William Ruto's brand of politics. William Ruto prefers to go directly to the people, which is not bad. And the only problem with that is that in Kenya, from the past elections we have seen, we don't have free votes or other freelance votes. These votes are most likely controlled by ethnic kingpins. Most likely ethnic kingpins. Say for maybe a few communities that will always go with euphoria but if you look at the big the, the big tribes then their voting is largely influenced by their ethnic kingpins so william ruto going directly to the people i don't think will yield much for him because at the right time when politics will get charged as i've been saying in this youtube channel kenyans will definitely <laughs> recede back to their ethnic cocoons and they will now try and look at where their ethnic kingpins are. Mm -hmm. So I believe William Ruto might be missing the point simply because he has never contested for any presidency or rather for any presidential election. So I think this being his first attempt, William Ruto is, has still got a long way to learn. Mm -hmm. And I know he will just learn the truth about our Kenyan politics in this maybe assuming the contest in 2022. I think we will come to the reality that actually our politics revolves around ethnic kingpins. And Raila beats Ruto on that. Raila has already identified ethnic kingpins that we now just use to bargain with the residents. And that's a very smart political strategy. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did mention when we were starting, if you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, kindly subscribe and also give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. And to those watching us outside of Kenya for the very, very first time, very first time, kindly also drop a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are also watching us from. Drop a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are watch, watching us from. And to those <laughs> who might be our fans in this YouTube channel, 
You can be a fan of our videos, but you have not yet subscribed. Also subscribe and also give this video a like. To our fans who are always giving this video some likes, dropping comments, let me also take this opportunity to thank you abundantly. God be with you. God bless you abundantly. Tamusana, Tamusana.